Okay, so what are we uh, dealing with today? Uh, September 27th, uh, 2021, 1638, Texas time. Uh, so we've got pupating larvae, and uh, they are ready to go. They're looking to burrow into soil. Uh, they have come out into the manifold. Boy, I'm like, I love it when things work, and this is awesome. Yesterday, I got to see a black soldier fly uh, female in there uh, laying eggs. I actually uh, interrupted it, I think, because I was just putting compost in. But anyway, so I've got this um, uh, oat milk container from Costco, just when I finished uh, making drinks with it. And uh, I used a Dremel, and I made it a very tight fit. And boy, am I glad I did, because they are all crawling at the top. This is a second bin from Costco. Pretty much everything you see in here is Costco. Um, I live at Costco. Uh, this right here, I took some old potting soil, like a couple years old that I just happened to have like sitting in the garage and uh, I filled that. So this is just uh, another Costco bin with some soil right there, uh, potting soil. I'm gonna find out how it works. Um, so I'm gonna take these, uh, these guys and girls, they're gonna, they're looking to go into soil right now. That's what they're trying to do. They're gonna burrow into soil and then they're gonna sit there and uh, turn into flies. And then uh, they're gonna turn into flies. They're gonna live about eight days, maybe 14 days. I mean, if you really spend a lot of effort, you can keep them alive longer, but really uh, black soldier fly um, adults are about eight days, I guess, uh, from uh, Dr. Google, the University of Google, uh, my alma mater. And, um, so they keep coming to the top, they keep dropping. So right now they're in an endless cycle. I'm gonna put them in here, make them happy, they'll go here. Then I've still got to build the breeding bin. Um, so the magic number is, uh, there's a really great lady, I'm blank on her name, from Kenya, who uh, she was covering that it's, uh, uh, what is it? Three feet for, um, for width, four feet for, uh, I guess, depth, and then uh, four feet for height. I'm gonna round up, I'm just gonna say 444 four, four. Um, for a cube. Uh, that's what she was covering in her video is, is great. Like That's kind of her magic number for getting them to breed because when black soldier flies are breeding, they have to fly. So you can't just like stick them in a shoe box. So uh, there's still a lot of larvae in here that are eating that the ants didn't kill. So these ones, these are ready to go. Let's try and knock them loose a little. Greg, let's watch out for ant poison while we're at it. Beep, 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 beep. Come on. Here we go. And let's see. I'm going to move into the brick, actually. Okay. Okay. And here we go. Ding, 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 ding. Now, what some people do, which I'm still breeding, so I don't, oh, still got some. Hey, come on, it's graduation day. Okay, uh, so I've still, uh, oh, oh, there you are. Okay. Uh, let's see, make sure we got everything. I don't want any, okay. So, and I'm gonna stick this back in case more start dropping while we're still filming. And okay, so okay, so they're gonna start uh, digging into the dirt. There they go. They are digging into the dirt, and uh, they are going to become uh, flies. Uh, in the meantime, for a, oh boy, I'd be lying if I made up a number, but let me make up a number, let's say a couple days, um, for them to turn into flies, I'd have to Google it again, but, uh, anyway, so for the few days that they're doing this, we collect more, we put them in the dirt, keep doing that, uh, then I need to kind of hurry up and build a, uh, breeding bin, and so the breeding bin is going to be, uh, I got mosquito net from Academy, and then uh, we're gonna sit there and uh, try to contain it and use a combination of water and sugar water because the adults don't have mouths. They also don't, they don't transmit diseases either. So that's the cool thing. So it's actually pretty clean, but uh, we're gonna sit there and um, then try to, when these uh, become uh, mature flies and they start flying around, we're gonna try and have them in like a very small uh, greenhouse, actually hijacking my wife's uh, <laughs> small greenhouse 
and we'll sit there and um, try to catch that, try to keep the humidity right, especially as we're coming into uh, October, which is about where they stop right now. Um, so we're going to try to keep humidity right. We're gonna try to keep uh, temperature right. We're gonna try to make sure that food is correct. Uh, sugar water is, and, uh, is, is what the adults go for. And the lady from Kenya, she does, uh, I guess, just regular water. Um, and then what's the other thing? Uh, plants, because they do what's called lekking. Uh, so it's L-E-K-K-I-N-G. And so that's how they sit there and attract each other. Um, and uh, then they uh, fly. And while they're flying is where they're mating. And then the female lays eggs and we start the process all over again. So that's where we're at. Most of them are already dug now into the soil. Um, and I'm gonna leave them be. I'll kind of break this up a little maybe just kind of help them out so they're already some of them are already kind of going dormant in the soil like kind of just good enough so <clears throat> now what would be cool for since i'm like still kind of working on concepts and designs but um what would be cool like i, I do want to try to use like a reptile cage uh or like a reptile setup uh along with like a bird cage i, I think there's a couple ways to try this uh I believe it's University of Japan that had sat there and made um, like a really small setup. So uh, my wife is Japanese, so, so I, now we have even more of an excuse to go uh, back uh, to check out like what uh, everybody's up to at University of Japan. So post COVID uh, definitely like has bumped up on my list of places I want to go visit. Mostly it's just go stare at Black Soldier Fly, even though Japan is a wonderful country and uh, has a lot of cool things to offer. And um, uh, so anyways, that's where we're at. I would love to try to come up with a way to combine these two. So keep this elevated, have this drop into this and then maybe cut a hole so they fly out. Uh, so there, I think there's a couple ways to take this where maybe put this in like a small greenhouse and um, like, you know, move it closer since there's ant poison, I'm not gonna move it closer right now, but have this drop into this, have a hole in here they fly out, they mate, and then it's it's back into a, a cycle. So then they enter here, drop eggs, make more babies, more babies grow up, and just keep going into this. So that's, that's right now this is kind of uh, version one prototype. So that's gonna be definitely more on the final stage. And I'm basically trying to get this as small as possible. Uh, so, and as cheap as possible and as easy as possible. So, um, uh, this is going to be a guide uh, that I'm still writing. Uh, it takes me so long because I'm trying to make sure I have good photos and good information. And um, so, yeah, coming up. Thank y'all for watching uh, all three subscribers that I have. So don't forget to like and subscribe if, if this is uh, the, if this kind of stuff interests you. Thanks.